This video provides information that may or may not apply to you and your specific vision health care needs. Always consult your doctor, therapist, teacher before considering what you and your family should do in any particular situation. If you have any questions, please contact Dr. Philip Nicholson's Visual Learning Center at info at visuallearningcenter.com. Hi, and welcome to another video from VTTV. I'm Paige, and today's topic will be going over sight words. And so we have two different activities involving sight words to introduce you to. The first one is a tracking activity, and the second one is a sight words word search. So sit back and enjoy. The tracking packet is broken up into varying levels of difficulty and is appropriate for beginning and remedial readers. Level one is the easiest, and each activity asks the child to spell a word. Starting on the first row and going left to right as if we were reading, find and circle the letters of the word in the proper sequence. Record the time it takes to complete the activity. If necessary, the person doing the activity may use his or her finger to keep in place, but only up to level three, where by this time the individual should try tracking only with his or her eyes. The goal of the tracking packet is to increase the speed it takes to go through each activity and do so without errors from skipping a letter or misspelling the target word. All right, Tiffany, can you read this word? Light. Good. And how about this word? Into. Perfect. All right, so for this activity, what we're going to do, starting up here, we are going to locate all of the letters in the word like. Okay, so we're going to start up here and go left to right because that is how we read. Exactly. All right, so the first letter that you are going to look for is L and then continue all through it until you get to the E at the end. Okay. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Hmm. I missed one. Yeah, so I think we missed the E. So what we can do mm -hmm. is let's use another color. We'll start at L again and we'll search again. Okay, so okay. just go a little slower and make sure you are thinking of that next letter that you are supposed to search for. Okay. All right, go ahead. So far, so good. Mm-hmm, the eye. Mm, okay, so that's where that K was supposed to be. The final letter, E. All right, great. All right, so your time was 1.08. Mm -hmm. And let's try again with the next tracking activity. And let's see if we can get an even faster speed because now you know what to look for, out for. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. One more letter. All right. Awesome. You did it. Yay. Very good. 24. Big improvement. So what you just watched was an example of a tracking activity that uses sight words. Sight words are words that young children are encouraged to memorize by sight as a whole so that as they read print, they can automatically recognize them without having to use any decoding strategies. And sight words are important because many are difficult to portray in pictures or to sound out using phonics methods. And so therefore, sight words must be recognized automatically to encourage reading fluency and reading comprehension. And through using a tracking packet with sight words, we are developing and strengthening not only spelling skills, but also eye movement skills and visual processing skills in the areas of figure ground and visual concentration. So along with the tracking packet, another option that may be more appropriate for more of a challenge 
is with the use of word searches. And similar to the tracking packets, these word searches are broken up by level of difficulty, meaning that in the beginning levels, you'll see words that are used more frequently in printed materials compared to the later levels. There are several ways to use these puzzles, either through adding a time element or just keeping it as an activity to do when there is some downtime at home or in class. What I would recommend is that before starting each activity, go through the list of words to make sure that the child can pronounce them. If there are some words that the child seems to struggle through, make note of it and for the time being, only allow him or her to search for the words they can pronounce easily. Keep working with the child on the words that are harder for them until they can see it and say it with ease, and then allow them to locate the word in the crossword puzzle. Once all the words have been located, now you have to make sure that they can spell them. Don't move on to the next puzzle until all the words can be spelled forwards and backwards, just to be sure. And when they can do all of this, reward them because they worked hard and earned it. The same words that we use are based off of Dr. Edward B. Fry's instant words, also referred to as Fry words, and his list of 1,000 words are the most common words used in English, arranged in the order of frequency in which they occur in printed material. Both of these activities that you've listened to us talk about in demo, the tracking activity and the word search, are available on our website for download. As always, thank you for watching and we will see you next time.